Welcome everyone to the Body Electric 2.0. I'm so excited to have my dear friend and colleague, Dr. Mindy Beck on, and we're going to be talking about how making technology biocompatible. So this is a really important and insightful topic. And as we dive in, Mindy, I want to um, hear your approach. I mean, why are we even you know, talking about this and what do we really need to realize are the keys to really create optimal self-regulation and self-healing? Yes. It so this is, every, I feel like everybody wants to be self-healing, right? I mean, this is ultimately our goal as doctors and practitioners um, and just people of this world. And um, it really starts with three key things. That is access, structure, and utilization. And that sounds, I'll, I'll go in and explain what that actually means, but really so that we know where are we coming from, where are we starting with, and all of us are piloted by electromagnetic frequencies. Now people mm -hmm. are freaking out, right? They're, they're like, oh my gosh, EMFs, EMFs, 5G, it's so horrible. You know, we get calls um, and emails almost every day with like, oh my gosh, what is this 5G thing doing, right? Mm -hmm. And so in order to really explain how people can be self-healing, optimally self-healing, is you have to understand first the, um, in order to understand the solution, you really have to understand how the biology works and, mm -hmm. and you have to understand the problem and how it's affecting us. So when I say access, we need access to the information that allows our body to be self-healing. So mm -hmm. what is that information? It's, it's actually natural electromagnetic frequencies. And what mm -hmm. defines natural, because that word's thrown around quite a bit, right? Mm -hmm. Is that they have to be multi-dimensional spinning frequencies. They're actually synchronizing us with our environment. Because in order to heal, we have to be able to be in touch with our environment, connected to it, so we know what's going on around us all the time. And then we can adapt. And if you can adapt, you can actually heal. So that's the big key, but that's how, that's, you know, what's going on is that these multi-dimensional spinning frequencies. So first of all, everything in nature spins. The spin, we call it the spin mechanism. The spin mechanism is what allows this system to talk to this system. And everything in nature is spinning. I like to take the example of the little electron, especially in like hydrogen, this little electron is gathering information from the periphery of the atom. And then it's spinning on itself and it's spinning closer and closer to the nucleus. And as it gets to the nucleus, it actually dispenses what's called a biophoton, a fancy word for energy of life, essentially. This is what animates everything on the planet. The issue with the artificial frequencies like 5G is it's actually preventing then that little electron from spinning back out to the periphery to gather more information. So it's actually just play carding it to the nucleus. So now, especially with hydrogen, so hydrogen is the most ubiquitous atom on the planet in the universe. It makes up 98% by volume of the universe. So it is what allows us to have, have a reference. It also just happens to be two thirds of water, right? So then the other part about this um, access is that we also have to be synchronized. And that's a kind of a challenging topic. It just means that we have to be in real time. Like we have to be getting the information at the time in which we are and the place in which we are. So there's, you know, there's a lot of um, discussion or in Chinese medicine, they have this thing called coronal 
biological clock. Mm -hmm. And have you heard about this? Yes, yes, no, that's great. I'm glad you went into this. Mm -hmm. so the chronobiological clock is essentially saying at this time, this, this is the organ systems, this is the energetic patterns that the biology is supposed to be focusing on. Mm -hmm. The thing is with the artificial frequencies is that it's kind of like knock this off real, getting things in real time. So for instance, if I gave you a newspaper from one year ago today, that news would be relevant to one year ago today, but not relevant to today, right? And there's a lot of things going on every day in the news right now, especially, right? Um, that we have to be in tune with. Otherwise, it, things could completely change. It could completely change the course of our life. Mm -hmm. So we have to be synchronized with the information of those subtle frequencies of nature. Um, so, Electromagnetic frequencies, let me take a little step back here. So electric, so these electric frequencies are primarily coming from outside of the planet. Mm -hmm. the magnetic frequencies are primarily coming from the planet itself. Mm -hmm. But depending upon so many different factors, where we are in the universe, where, you know, what time of day it is, what the season is, and there's so many different factors, is determining really how much electric, magnetic, magnetic, electric frequencies that we're, that are in our environment. So, but as long as we know and are in sync with that, and as the sun is rising, we get that visual cue but unfortunately, with the artificial frequencies, they're actually blocking that, that cue for us. So the sun may be rising and we're going into a yang phase or an energy phase, right? As, as the sun is rising, but our body didn't, our biology, our cells didn't get that cue. And so it's still in this depression, right? Or in this contraction. Um, and so this is where diseases can start to happen is if you're t out of phase for too long, then you start seeing that, um, you know, you start seeing the degradation, you start seeing degeneration, um, if people get stuck in the contraction and then you, if people are stuck in the um, rising energy or in the yang phase and don't get the cue to go back down, then they're in that excessive, or this is kind of where cancers can form or overdose. Too many viruses, bacteria, mold, <laughs> parasites, all of those things. Microbes can go crazy, right? So this is where we really have to try to help indicate and get the body back on track and allow the body access to the natural frequencies because we have in us everything that we need to be self-healing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that's also like something that really we have to remember because that's, that's the key. As long as we do understand that we are self-healing creatures, this is how we were designed we have the ability to do it. So mm -hmm. having that access to the proper information. So the second part is that structure. So what is structure? Actually, everything we do um, is based on structure. And we actually call um, what we do, you, so you matrix, is all about the matrix that mm -hmm. you have the ability to structure your internal and your external environment. Mm -hmm. So structure is really dependent upon water and these things called the colloids, which is just a fancy word for minerals and fluid suspension, and how these 
colloids are actually structured and what is structuring them. So these little colloids will find their way depending upon how their, um, the different influences like for instance, light, again, going back to sunlight and ev since everything is frequencies, right? These little colloids are in our atmosphere and they're also in our body. We have to try to synchronize those in our body with those of the environment, okay? So it's kind of, I mean, this is going back before even our time, right? But the old um, movies where they had the film reels, right? And they have little slides. And those, you can think of those images on each one of those slides as colloid structures. That mm -hmm. image, isn't um, illuminated until you actually show light through it, right? So you have to make sure that the, in order to get a full movie picture without missing film or you know things blocked, you have to make sure that you coordinate or synchronize the movement of that film, so the speed of the film, and the frequency of the light, because light is still, you know, these lights are still 60 Hertz. So that means that they're just going at 60 cycles per second. Mm -hmm. So, but in our body, we're trying to access the, the subtle frequencies of nature. So those natural electromagnetic frequencies so that we can see that the whole image, we can see the whole movie and everything's playing out and it's beautiful, right? It's our favorite movie. <laughs> and however, what if, you know, you had something that was blocking the light or obscuring the image or what would happen if I just took the entire projector and went like this, you know, like if I grabbed the laptop right now and I agitated it, it would really, the, the picture would be distorted. And this is what's happening with the artificial electromagnetic radiation. So it's interfering with those colloids to be able to structure themselves for us to get the correct information that our body needs to be self-healing. So, it sounds kind of like doom and gloom, right? <laughs> but it, it's, but the beautiful thing is that if we can regain the access to the proper information and we can structure it properly, right? Then we can utilize that information to allow ourselves to be self-healing. So how do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> Big question. Leaving you in suspense. Um, so really what the key is, is that just like we were talking about, our body has to be in sync with the information. So it can't be distorted and we can't force a particular information just because we we think that that's the information we need. So, you know, we have 37,000 billion, billion chemical reactions that are happening in our body every second. It's unfathomable. Like there's no computer that can compute that fast. So we, who's orchestrating that or what's orchestrating that? And that's really these multi-dimensional spinning frequencies of nature. So getting back to that spin a little bit, if, if these electrons are spinning as they should, then they are able to really allow for this flow of energy that allows us to thrive. Mm -hmm. So 
not only does do the artificial frequencies, you know, so the, this is the issue with those artificial frequencies. Not only are they um, two dimensional and linear, they're actually putting a blockade around our bodies from being able to access those natural frequencies. So, and they do this primarily by corrupting water. So we have the water with the colloids and those artificial frequencies are um, distorting or changing that structure of the colloids so that you're no longer getting the image or the information that your body needs to be self-healing. And, you know, with the water, I mean, we could literally talk for days just mm -hmm. about water and we still wouldn't completely um, cover everything. And this is the most um, talked about, you know, this water is the most unique thing on the planet. And, you know, you talk with Dr. Pollack and it's just absolutely fascinating. So this is what ultimately got me interested originally in understanding electromagnetic radiation and, and frequencies. So when, when these frequencies, when we're bombarded by all these frequencies and the water is corrupted, it really means that the um, hydrogen and these like the bonds in which are created, they can no longer have that spin. And this changes, for instance, it changes the viscosity of our cerebral spinal fluid. And this is really key because your cerebral spinal fluid has to be circulating mm -hmm. um, at a very particular rate and rhythm in order to coordinate all the diaphragms. So mm -hmm. there are multiple diaphragms. Um, but let's just talk about the abdominal diaphragm because that's the most known. So the abdominal diaphragm is really all about, it has to contract and it has to kind of, um, expand like a balloon. So it's going through this at a very particular rate. Well, as the cerebral spinal fluid is changing its rate, the diaphragm will actually slow down and go into torsion so that you're no longer getting the proper movement of the diaphragm, which means because your diaphragm is really your major um, vessel for detoxing. It's the muscle that is pushing and pulling on every single organ system. So mm. your liver, your gallbladder, your stomach, your pancreas, your spleen, uh, your kidneys, your adrenal glands all of your lymphatic tissue and your gonads. I mean, everything is reliant, of course, your lungs and even your heart. So if the diaphragm isn't moving properly, now you're not getting the proper drainage. What's one of the biggest problems with most of your clients, would you say? Yes. Detox? Yes. <laughs> I have found that that is the hardest thing. If people aren't draining, which is the primary function of our biology, if we're not draining properly, then how are we supposed to take in any nourishment and utilize it? Mm -hmm. We're too stuffed. So we have to allow for that to be re-coordinated. And then also, if the cerebral spinal fluid is off, it's, it also affects two glands in our brain the pituitary and the pineal gland. So there's a lot of talk about these glands. I mean, they run our endocrine system, our hormonal system. So if the pituitary isn't moving in and out of its little cavity like it's supposed to, it's not getting massaged properly. And thus it means that you're having this um, miscoordination of your hormonal system. And then the pineal gland, it's its pattern is to move up and down 
like an elevator. If it doesn't go through that full motion, again, you're not producing things like melatonin. That's not right. Nobody has insomnia. Nobody's ever tired. <laughs> you know, um, they found melatonin to be an important part of cancer care as well. Um, and then the pituitary, it runs the thyroid, the adrenal glands. So what are we seeing with electro um, sensitivity is that everybody starts off with being tired, having insomnia, having digestion problems, um, hormonal imbalances, uh, cognitive issues. So they just are like, where did I leave my keys again? So this goes back to, okay, let's restore the access to information so we can get everything coordinated again. And let's make sure it's in the proper structure so that we can actually utilize it. So. This is, yeah, you, you're doing a great job, uh, Dr. Beck, explaining like a complex system, right? And um, you know, for everyone who's listening, uh, Dr. Roland McCready from HeartMath actually also echoes this thought, Dr. Beck, about how, you know, our heart is actually in sync with the magnetic field of the earth and that, you know, the, our brain waves are in sync with the Schumann resonance. So we're hearing this in some of these, um, you know, that we should be in sync with nature, right? And that helps us to... Um, self-regulate and heal so you're taking it a step further and then you know my mind's going too right like when people you know we've, we've studied so many technologies right when people uh, in NASA and people leave birth you know they know all of these things uh, go awry in their physical body when they're not in connection with uh, these natural rhythms and frequencies so I think um, that's a great way of uh, reminding us and then um, you know, the structured water piece, um, and Dr. Pollock and Dr. Cowan, and so just echoing all of these themes. Um, and really, I, I think this is a really um, elegant model. There's so many um, discussions of why EMF is harmful for our health, right? And, you know, we can go into mechanisms and details, but there, this is like a, a huge disruption to the, as you said, the like the self conducting, you know, the, the conductor of you know, our energy body and our physical body. So um, looking at it from this aspect, um, you can see um, how many systems can go awry and then also supporting this and getting us back and seeing how people can, you know, start being back in balance and back, back in health. So you, know, you did a beautiful job explaining that. And I am, you know, and I, I'm just sitting here listening to you and, you know, you've been my teacher and I, um, you know, I know we spent time, you know, um, in Europe and being in Teremes and seeing the human impact of water, right? And then also, you know, you're a gifted physical therapist. So I'm just um, loving kind of hearing how all of your worlds are, you know, coming together, you know, in this technology that you've come to um, learn about and share with me and you know, share with um, our community um, around the matrix and how this is a solution, you know, to help us navigate these really challenging times that we're in with all of this interference into our self-regulating abilities. So can you just, you know, dive in and share um, what is the technology we're describing and what, what do you matrix products do? Absolutely. Thank you. And that was a beautiful summary. Um, yes, it has been this interesting journey from witnessing patients in our waiting room because you and I used to work together, um, having seizures because somebody was on a cell phone, right? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, we got to find solutions to this. Mm -hmm. And what if I told you that we could actually use the things that are the pollution to our benefit? Mm -hmm. So I'm working with a scientist from France who has been researching and um, searching this since 1961 and looked at what are the keys to the biology. So it's exactly those, those spinning frequencies, right? That allow this system to talk to this system and the synchronicity of it. So that really is 
so that you're getting the information that your body needs at the time and the place. So what he was able to do is create a technology. So his name is Pierre Nicola, just in case anybody wants to look him up. He only speaks French though. So mm -hmm. that, <laughs> that has been an issue for me. Um, but my partner, Patrick, here in the United States, he's a French native. And so, of course, speaks perfect French. And he was able to take the best example, the easiest example is your cell phone. Right. Mm -hmm. So your cell phone, as a lot of people are concerned about 5G, is producing these frequencies that are corrupting our water and our biology. He was actually use the energy because if you look at the first law of thermodynamics, nothing is created, nothing is destroyed, everything is transformed. Mm -hmm. so using the pollution to ping, so to speak, um, the a micro crystalline structure that's built into this cell phone device called the Matrix 5G that is just opens up the access to those frequencies that are the subtle frequencies of nature. So I because that's completely mind blowing and it, it has taken me a long time to really make this paradigm shift. I think the best way to describe it is using an example of a radio. And so we have a radio station, right? We have a DJ, they're broadcasting music on 105. Mm -hmm. So we have to tune in, right, to 105. We used to have those dials, not just buttons, but we actually have to tune in. And when we were tuning in and going through all these different frequencies, right, um, we go through a lot of static. Mm -hmm. We can tune in to the frequency that we love that brings us harmony and joy. And that's actually what all of uh, Pierre's tools are, all the Umatrix products, what they're doing is they're helping to lower the static and raise the usable signal so that now you can tune into the frequencies of nature. Mm -hmm. Now, when, you, when that's being broadcast, um, that, that station, um, and it comes to your tuner and you're dialing in, it amplifies that frequency, mm -hmm. but it doesn't change it, right? The actual radio is not changing the frequency that's being broadcast. And that is the big difference with these Umatrix products is it's not actually altering the information or trying to give a specific information. Mm -hmm. It's really trying to just allow access mm -hmm. to frequencies. So now you can you can tune in to the stations of nature which are plentiful. They're still there. That's the beautiful thing. And we're not forcing that information. So it's allowing your body to choose what it needs at the time and the place in which it is. This is why this these products are actually dynamic and true artificial intelligence. <laughs> uh, yeah. They're not deciding for you. They're not deciding how they're going to go about those 37,000 billion billion chemical reactions. They're just allowing you to have access to the maestro who can orchestrate it all. Mm -hmm. so, that's the first part. Then we have to talk about the structure. How is it restructured? because you have to have the proper structure. The environment has to have that proper structure. We talked about the colloids so that you get that full flowing, beautiful image that allows you to be healing. So this is really primarily through water. Water is our structure. And so 
there are other tools that we use to structure water. And same thing, it's not forcing an information, it's merely allowing the, the water that has been placed on it to recalibrate or retune to the frequency that it had that was at the time in which it was harvested. So ideally we want spring water, we want real water to begin with because it has the minerals in it. And we need those minerals in order to have this proper communication system because water with the colloids is really just our internal communication system. Mm -hmm. So we wanna make sure that that is as clear and crisp as possible, you know? We're doing a lot of these Zoom interviews, right? And sometimes there's technical difficulties. <laughs> and so we might not get all of the message. Well, think of it this way. With these products, it's restoring that completely clear signal so that you are getting all of the information in accordance with the time so synchronized to the time and the place in which you are so that you can stay coordinated with the rising of the sun and the setting of the sun and how the energy is, um, you know, how the frequencies are actually being dispensed by nature itself. So this then just allows your body and your structure to have all of these, this proper communication it then allows for the diaphragm to get back on track and allows for this proper movement, um, you know, digestion. And if the body has access or it knows what's coming at it, you know, we, we see that, why is it that some people are affected by viruses and bacteria more than other, you know, all these microbes more than other? is because the quality and the coherence of the water mm -hmm. and they started with and how many interferences they've had um, with, we found that the artificial frequencies are really the number one toxin. They supersede chemical, heavy metal, emotional toxicity, you know, any toxicity in microbial toxicity, because what they do is they dismantle the structure of our body's ability to detox. So we've kind of called, we've coined the EMF, the artificial EMF, the bully toxin, because it literally just doesn't let any anything out. <laughs> so when you can, you know, soothe the bully and give the bully what it needs, right? Now we can have this proper structure of the water, proper communication in our system that then allows for the utilization of the information that we're getting from, from nature. So, super yeah. cool, right? <laughs> you got it, girl. Um, but no, I, I think, um, Mindy, it's just, this is, you know, unfortunately, right where we are nowadays when we're recording, this is 2020. We know that our exposure is going to only increase, right? And so, you know, we become enlightened and, you know, seek out other technologies and, you know, it's going to take a while, you know, to change. And unfortunately, our exposure is increasing. And so, um, you know, it, it can be very, as you said, anxiety producing and fear producing for a lot of people. And then that we work with the sensitive people, right, who can actually feel these um, frequencies in their body. And so, um, this is very different, right, than other technologies that attempt to block or shield or, um, you know, um, prevent basically the um, frequencies from, you know, affecting us. And so um, can you just, you know, maybe compare, I mean, you did a beautiful job of describing what this is, what the matrix does, but just compare them to the other technology on the market and how you've navigated um, sharing that with people. Right, so if we try to block these frequencies, this little device here is designed to find us the best signal it possibly can. Mm -hmm. So what does it do then? It ups, it ups the amount of electromagnetic frequencies that it's producing. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and so we get a higher exposure. So we really can't block them. And if you do truly block them, then your phone won't work. Right, right. Or your laptop or whatever device you're trying to block. Mm -hmm. Then the other like redirecting. So that's that may be great for you because you're not getting as much exposure. But now it's being dispensed in your environment. And who else is in your environment? Your kids, yeah. your, you know, your family, your pets, your neighbors. So it's not really a true solution for the environment. Mm -hmm. And then um, there are things like that absorb. Well, that vacuum would have to be so vast because these frequencies, these artificial frequencies, they don't just disappear. They stay mm -hmm. within our environment. Mm -hmm. so really the only logical or the only viable way of dealing with them is to transform them into this language. So we're taking this technical frequency, using it as the pollution, or you're using mm -hmm. the pollution to our advantage and then it's allowing for that aspect of all everything in nature that spins, that spinning frequency to couple with. So we're actually using the, the art, artificial frequency as the carrier. So now your body can utilize it. So it's, it, it's waste. You're already using this thing anyways. So why not actually use it to your benefit in not just communication, but actually communication in your body? Mm -hmm. um, and this has implications on the planet itself because mm -hmm. our environment, you know, we're just a microcosm of the planet, right? We're just a smaller version. So we're starting to see that people are getting very sick with these artificial frequencies, but the planet is also, and it's much vaster than us, so it has capabilities to detox itself, but it's, it's had eons to deal with carbon pollution, mm -hmm. but it hasn't had eons to deal with electricity. And you can actually see every time we have um, an uptick in technology or electricity, um, one of my favorite books is the Invisible Rainbow, The History of Electricity and Life by Arthur Furstenberg. Um, he, sh he shows, and, he, and I know Dr. Cowan talks about it too, that every time, like the, like the Spanish flu, for instance, was this time when radio communication was becoming quite popular and, and homes were starting to be electrified. You know, we had actual electricity in most private homes at that time. But this dates back to when electricity even started. So when we have these upswings and um, more exposure and like 5G, so 5G, um, it's just faster and more. That's the easiest way to put it. it can, we can get very technical, but that's just it. And because it has these, um, these particular frequencies, which are really in the microwave spectrum, and how does a, a microwave work? It works by agitating water molecules. That mm -hmm. creates heat. Mm -hmm. So that's what is creating that distortion. But it is why 5G, they're having to actually put relays much closer and much more of them because of the frequency type it is, they get absorbed by mm -hmm. things like water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we just happen to be water, our trees are water. And, um, you know, even in the buildings, you know, the environment is becoming more toxic. Mm -hmm. So, um, Pierre has 
kind of calculated that if we are able to even put the U matrix 5G on a certain percentage of phones across the globe, we can start working on building this network that's actually mm -hmm. helping this biocompatibility of these frequencies, not just for us, but actually for the planet as well. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. about helping the, the planet detox itself in the way it's supposed to. So mm -hmm. that's, um, that's the really exciting part about, about being part of this uh, endeavor is that we get to work with people like yourself and other people around the globe who are all joining forces to really come up with solutions. And, and, and really sim these are really simple. This, um, that's what I like about this most is that it's not an elaborate plan. And when you're already sick, as you know, it's really challenging to motivate yourself to to do that and take this. And it, so the goal was always to make something so that it's extremely simple, that you know it, it just gets put on the back of your devices and you don't have to think about it. Mm -hmm. And now I have mine right there. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, but I, um, no, and that, you know, I, that's a, you know, just a beautiful other aspect, you know, you're helping people on an individual level, and then, of course, helping people on a collective level by helping, you know, the planet, and, you know, I, I live in Seattle, and, you know, we have this um, beautiful street that we walk every morning, and, you know, the 5G towers are not coming up in our neighborhood, and, you know, recently, they've taken down these beautiful old chestnut trees that are around the tower. And so my husband and I are like, why are they taking them down? And so I've heard and with you kind of reiterating, you know, it's likely, you know, they've been taken down because they are interfering with these 5G signals. And it's just, you know, it, it's heartbreaking on so many levels. I mean, and of course I worry about, you know, the health of our um, of humans and children, and then you know I'm you know now seeing these beautiful old trees. That, you know here we are in 2020, you know, focusing on our lungs, and you know we need these beautiful trees to support us. And you know they're just another um, yeah casualty of this experience. So you know we have to we have to start thinking you know in this bigger picture way. Mm -hmm. And and this is what I love about it. We could do doomsday. It's like because people are being bombarded and we, and they get overwhelmed, right? It's very overwhelming, and there's a lot of information out there. It's like, okay, what do I believe? But the, the simple fact is is that in the world of electromagnetic frequencies, one plus one does not equal two. Mm -hmm. um, so meaning that if we have 5G tower, towers and we have Wi-Fi routers and we have our cell phone and we have our, our laptop, these can be exponentially um, damaging to our biology. But the beautiful thing is, is that we look at it, all of these pollutions as an opportunity to transform them into frequencies that are biocompatible. So now, again, you can use devices that a lot of people, especially people who are sensitive, they're like, I can't use a cell phone. I'm sorry. We're going to have to figure out a different way to communicate. And, um, and now I've seen when they put these on their phone, they're like, oh my gosh, I can use my, I can use a phone. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, they start drinking this structured water that's, you know, I have it, here. <laughs> you know, I have it right here. It's just a little coaster that I carry with me wherever I go. Um, and that reverses their, their GERD or their heartburn that they've had for a very long time. And just something mm -hmm. very simple. Mm -hmm. um, and that. <laughs> that's why we do this. It's like when you 
you hear these small victories where people are like, they can start joining a social, you know, society again and communicating with people, and especially right now, right? With the time we're, mm -hmm. we're starting to get locked down again, there are so many people that are feeling this pain and fear of being separated from their families and their loved ones and their friends and just people in general, right? So we can help them communicate in a way that's gonna support them, but then also support their biology, right? And, and their well mm -hmm. that's, mm -hmm. that's really the goal and the mission that people um, understand that yes, there's a lot of scary things, but we don't have to be afraid of them, that we still have the ability to be self-healing, that these natural frequencies are still there. They haven't gone away, just have to access them. They have to be structured properly, and then we can utilize them. So that's it. Um, you know, one, um, so that being, you know, said, it's, it's really this time where we, we have to band together and mm -hmm. help support one another and find the community where we can to do that. And, and thank you so much for mm -hmm. this opportunity to um, share with you and share with your your audience uh, because I just I want people to know that they do definitely have this support and that nature is there to help them and nature isn't you know just the ocean and the grass and the trees and everything but that they are, and we are all part of nature. We just have to reconnect to it. We have to synchronize with it and re, you know, refocus on that. And that will bring us true connection. So. Mm. Mm. Well, that is so beautiful, Dr. Beck. And I just love how our paths reconnected at this time and that you know, you shared this technology and this insight with myself, and I'm sharing this with patients. But, you know, obviously, we're sharing it now with um, this community and this audience. And you know, I, um, you know, I know your heart is in such the right place, and that your journey has led you to being able to experience and share this. And we need, you know, we need more optimistic solutions, right? And I think there's a profound, um, we're in a profound time, um, but there's a profound opportunity. Um, to create, you know, all of this um, change in such a positive way with what, you know, we have accessible to us at all times. So thank you so much, Dr. Beck. And where can people find more about you, Matrix, and more about you? Where should, um, where should they look to find you? Uh, our website is the best place, which is youmatrixit.com. So Y-O-U-M-A-T-R-I-X it.com and we have some podcasts that go a little bit more into some of the science we have um, you know third-party testing that's been done on some of the products that people can review um, one one thing I should say is that we changed our name at the beginning of 2020 from T biotech to U matrix and so that created a little bit of confusion, <laughs> um, but we felt like we needed to do that because we moved the entire operation um, from France to the US. We built a new lab um, from the ground up. And so now all of the matrix products are, are um, coming from that lab and built and made in the US. So, mm -hmm. Um, that was a big, big step in 2019 for us. And we thought, okay, let's, let's give it a name that's going to have this, this substance that people can wrap their head around. And um, so, like I said at the beginning, U-Matrix, U, 
now have the ability to matrix your environment um, to the benefit. Yeah, love it, love it. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Beck. It's always a pleasure and I'm so excited again um, for people to learn more about your work and this really empowering technology. So thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, many blessings to you in Seattle and I hope that they're planting some new trees. <laughs> <laughs>